Hi everyone, I received the question on how to set a field value to the current user if they've checked a checkbox. So I'm going to make some assumptions on the requirements here. I'm going to assume that they have um, multiple people checking checkboxes and it may be a repeating section possibly. Um, this is received from a comment on one of my um, YouTube videos. So I'm just going to... Um, this is what I would do to solve this problem. There's probably a few different ways. They mentioned they were having troubles with the user profile lookup function, uh, but this is one way you could solve it. So let's say we've got a checkbox here. I'm going to call it uh, checked. Make it a toggle. I'm going to say uh, person that performed, performed the check. Okay, so when we go to preview, we want to check this box and we have to see the, the person's name populating here. So First thing I would do is make this read on the yes, so they can't actually change the name. And then I would put a rule in here, and I'd say, uh, you want it in the repeating section because it's it's a rule applying to the row within the repeating section. So I, I, I feel like a row in a repeating section is like a mini form. So if you think about, am I applying it to the, to the parent form? Then I select form. If I'm applying it to that little mini form or the row, I select the repeating section. Now I'm gonna say set field value value if I can spell it and I'm going to say um, if it's checked is yes then person that performed the checked check value insert and what you can do here is rather than using the user profile lookup so if I come to here and you'll see user profile if you're not familiar with it you can go and look up properties about a person um, and that's um, on top of the things we already provide now what do I mean by that well in the context variables, we already have the current user's login name, email address, and display name. So I'm just going to reuse those because they're already there. I don't need the user profile lookup for to get the current user. So I'm going to select insert. And then I'm also going to say person perform the check value is blank if they uncheck it as well. So this is this is out of the box sort of Nintex forms. These are already there for you to use. They're just the current user's identity. So I'll go ahead and grab that and create rule and we're going to go publish and we're going to jump across to our form and click on new. So I'm going to say hello world and check the checkbox and my name populates in there. Uncheck it and it clears it out again. So I can keep going and checking different things and then I can do my submission and it comes through absolutely fine. Now um what if i was to change uh the person so what happens to the the next person the next current user um what happens to those other fields let's go and have a look so i'm going to jump back into my list and log back in i'm going to log in as big boss so big boss is now logging in um i've logged out big boss comes in to have a look at the previous submission of the checks that i performed he can see my name here he sees something else needs to be checked. He adds a row, select checked, and Alfredo's name comes through. Now, Alfredo doesn't have a last name. He just has Alfredo. Um, now, it puts Alfredo there, but also my name is previously there as well. Now, once I press submit, and Alfredo can open that up, and you can see that I did these checks, and Alfredo did those checks. Now, you might be thinking, well, can Alfredo turn off my checks as well? And that's true. He can actually turn off my checks as well. So you could actually extend this even further. So how would I go about doing that? Well, I'm going to leave that for a moment and we're going to go back to the here. We're going to sign out. Sign back in as me, who is the designer. Okay. There I am. Now what we're going to do is put a couple of checks and balances around this. So Nintex forms, we'll open up the designer. So what we want to do is, um, this is going to get a bit more complicated. So we want to say rules, uh, a new repeating section rule. So repeating section, and we're going to say uh, disable checkbox if not equal field, I think. Let's have a think about this. So if the checked is yes, and uh, the person that performed the check equals insert context 
current unit dis display name, then checked read only is no else checkbox uh, checked read only is yes. Let me think about this. If the checkbox is yes. And the person that performed the check is equal to whoever's logged in. Then it's it's editable. It's not read only. Otherwise, we make it um, read only. So let's go ahead and create that. Let's go ahead and publish it, and let's see if I've actually got this right. So in theory, I shouldn't be able to undo Alfredo's checkbox, if that makes sense. So I'm going to open up Hello World. It's in read. It's in read only for everything because it's in in view mode. I click to edit. And there we go. So now I can see, all oh, right, I didn't do that check successfully. So I'm going to turn it off. Um, oh, and now you'll see here, it's actually disabled that. Interesting. So what we need to do is actually update that rule. So if it's checked is no, uh, we need to go here, rules. Uh, if checked is yes, and person is equals persons. Or um, what else we do? Box is no. Let's update that and see what happens there. Publish. Let's refresh and see what happens. Go to edit mode. There we go. So now what's happening is I still can't turn off Alfredo's checkbox, but I can turn mine off or I can turn mine back on again when I'm doing my checks. So what's happening here in this rule is now, when I'm first setting it up, um, if the checkbox is yes, it's gonna put my name in my, my, the current user's name in there. And if I unchecked it, it's gonna clear it. Now the second part, which was a bit trickier, was it's within the repeating section again. If the checkbox is yes, so if it, when it's checked, and the person that did the check is equal to the current user, then the checkbox, unchecked is is sorry is, is is checkable or usable but if it's if these if it's yes and it's the, not the person that did the check then it's read only also if the checkbox is no if the checkbox is turned off then it's also read only is no so that's how we get around that problem of me editing alfonso's changes as well so that was a fairly fairly interesting um, question. I hope that made sense to you. If you've got any questions about it, so let me know in the comments. Cheers.